Good, happy Monday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, David Ortiz post on social media for first time since shooting. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. out the door when it matters most. For more than a decade, he's been right there, everywhere. And when American jobs are on the line, he leads the charge. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast, and we thank you. All right, Cindy, thank you. Breaking news. Uh, we are hearing from David Ortiz for the first time since he was shot in the Dominican Republic in early June. The Red Sox legend posting several food pictures to Instagram saying, being at home and look at my family celebrating that I'm here safe is priceless. Thanks for all the prayers. Too bad I can't crush food yet. Ortiz was released from Mass General Hospital on Friday. On June 9th, he was mistakenly shot in the back by an assassin targeting another man at a Santo Domingo nightclub. A source close to Ortiz's family says he's continuing his rehabilitation at home where he will be closely monitored by full-time nurses and will be visited regularly by his personal physician. Stay with News Center 5 as we continue to track Big Poppy's recovery. Updates on air, online, and always on the WCVB app. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Get well soon, Big Poppy. New Hampshire's championship baseball teams for 2019. Let's take a look at the photos and the teams. Congratulations to all league champions. Great Keen 13 and under Bay Ruth squad and Windham 10 year old district baseball team congratulations to both of the teams how to help 2019 Chad Battle of Badges Baseball Classic game being held this Friday, August 2nd. Let's take a listen to the video. Friday, police officers and firefighters will step up to the plate to help the children of Chad. The annual Battle of the Badges Baseball Classic raises money for the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth. First pitch is set for 6 o'clock at the Northeast Delta Dental Stadium in Manchester. Now, since starting nine years ago, Team Fire and Team Police have raised more than $550,000 for the hospital. For ticket information, you can visit WMUR.com or our mobile app, and we hope to see you there at the ballpark. Okay, and there you go. Very cool indeed. And Patriots Training Camp. Patriots Hall of Fame introduction ceremony open to public at 4.30 p.m. That already happened. And closed practice for season ticket members in Foxborough residence begins at 7 o'clock p.m. this evening. And that is it for this Monday evening edition of 
Sports with Riley King. I hope you all have a rest of your Monday evening. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night, everyone, and bye.